Perched on the fertile rolling hills of South Otago, there's a dairy processor with a difference. Danone, Australia and New Zealand is leading the way in carbon reduction initiatives. This biomass boiler is a $30 million addition that will slash the plant's carbon emissions and contribute to reducing overall emissions across Danone's ANZ operations. In Danone's uh, manifesto of uh, One Planet, One Health, this is one key ambition, locally speaking, for the site here in Balkruta, to ensure that we are caring for our environment. The key ingredient in dairy spray drying, turning milk to milk powder, is steam. Water in these pipes is heated, which pumps up the temperature in the massive towers where milk is sprayed from the top to fall and dehydrate into powder at the bottom. Using coal or LPG to heat the water is the current industry standard, but Danone's biomass boiler sets a new benchmark. And the biofuel is wood residue, wood from local sustainable forestry that would usually sit and rot on forest floors. It's a sustainable system that illustrates how Danone is striving to be the best they can be in manufacturing, recyclability and regenerative agriculture practices. These three are very complex. They require a lot of knowledge and resources. Uh, but luckily for Danone, we do have uh, a lot of IP internally within our global team that we can tap into to really power that transformation on carry care. Danone's carry care infant formula is leading the way. By next year, carry care gold plus organic powder will be carbon neutral with the rest of the line on track for the same by 2030. At CariCare, we believe that uh, we can't produce healthy food if we don't have a healthy planet, so we are fully committed uh, to preserving natural resources. When it comes online later this year, the 15 megawatt biomass boiler will reduce the plant's carbon emissions by 20,000 tonnes a year, the equivalent of 4,500 cars being taken off the road. Combined with a switch to 100% renewable electricity, the plant's carbon emissions will reduce by 95%. Other initiatives at the manufacturing end, like a new water filtration system, will cut this plant's water requirements by 30%. The end goal is carbon neutrality, and it's a goal the entire company, from the factory floor to the corporate office, are focused on. Having this carbon neutrality and sustainability roadmap um, as the core of what we do, it excites employees, engages them and make them really, really proud of working for Danone and to contribute to a cause that uh, goes beyond just making products. Is it satisfying to be working that way? You bet, uh, definitely. Uh, I say that not because I work for just solely on uh, Danone's uh, corporate uh, manifesto, but really uh, as a person, as a human being, uh, living in uh, New Zealand now and of course uh, being part of the world, we could see how the world is evolving with natural resources depleting and that's the reason why we are living a fruitful course to give back to the nature. Positive action, Danone hopes will see positive choices being made by mums and dads. By taking a stance on caricature carbon neutrality, we are giving the power back to consumers to vote for the world where they want to live in uh, with the purchasing decisions. So we see that as increasingly important. And they're not keeping their methods a secret. Danone inviting other companies wanting a better future to join them on the journey to a more sustainable, healthier planet.